This is Terry Ronzio reporting to you from an undisclosed location deep in the southwestern Pennsylvania wilderness on a road not traveled by many but now is traveled by many fracking fucking trucks. <laughs> <laughs> the fracking fuckers traveled this road many many times now but before the frackers came to the area uh, <laughs> this used to be a secret hidden hideaway like I said I'm in the middle of the outback and uh, now we're we're living in uh, occupied Nazi fascist commie bastard occupied America uh, yeah, like I said in one of my blogs recently that I just did uh, with fracking who needs armies to invade to take all oh, who oh yeah with with fracking and agenda 21 who needs armies to take over the world and what inspired me to come up with the title of that blog was uh, the <laughs> the they took they got they have a picture of the United States from space of all at night from all the fracking wells it, and uh, lit up and like from the Mississippi East the whole freaking uh, countries lit up on fire man it's fucking crazy man like the UPS guy told me before he before the fracking fuckers came into the area down here uh, there were like over 600 stops now there's less than 200 stops so think about it my friends but <laughs> anytime I introduce uh, my introductions like that from an undisclosed, undisclosed location. Uh, <laughs> you veterans of my videos know that the blog on my website is John B. Wells and Coast to Coast AM. I always shoot these videos ahead of time because I don't know what the titles are going to be in the future. So I figured out a way to have videos ready for great coast to coast AM interviews that John B. Wells has so go go to the bottom of the video and uh, click on the first link you see and it'll take you to John B. Wells with a special guest of his and uh, tell him Terry sent you um, I'm a very motivated individual I call myself a Johnny Appleseed for patriotism so that's what that means if I if you ever see John B. Wells, tell him Terry sent you. And uh just uh yeah, I'm a motivated individual. I've been walking for six years now, and after today's great march, ten mile march here on the Ryerson Station the State Park Warpath, I call all my paths Warpath because it's a trail of honor. And every three miles that I walk uh is to honor a brave soldier who has fought and died in this terrible war and uh, so I'm very proud of my journey and I'm going to be at 9,490 miles every 500 miles I trade in a flag and get a new one so flag number 20 is waiting for me and uh, thanks to my friend Joe uh, he gave me a flag that I could use because he knows that my funds have run low in this six years of extra work what I call the, the uh, Patriot business so uh, thanks Joe and uh, so I'm very happy but anyways go check out the video and uh, if you see a veteran or a soldier tell them about me because I'm what well, I win every time I'm running for Congress for the fourth time in 2014 and I I'm an, I win automatically because I'm doing all this hard patriotic work to inspire our greatest patriots to run for office. So I can never lose because I'm an inspirational patriotic thought leader. Johnny Appleseed for patriotism. Anytime someone sees me, I plant a seed in their brain 
where they 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 think about patriotism and then they when they find out my story of how I honor the soldiers who have died in this war and uh, tr that seed grows into a liberty tree and it's just an amazing thing and my website I call it the Ben Franklin printing press if you're having a hard time waking up your friends send them there because that's my job to wake up the people especially our greatest patriots to the truth we've been lied to for a very long time go check out John B Wells pass my website to your friends pass my videos to your friends and I'll see you guys in the next video until then have a great day wherever you're at in the world